Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jim Fahd. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to turn anything into a slider or carousel without using any extra plugin. Also, without writing any custom code. We will be creating this whole carousel or slider only by using Elementor Page Builder. In this slider, we can swipe like this. We can navigate them by using this right or left arrows. Also, we can use these bottom dots as navigator like this. And I have split this video into two different parts. First, I will show you how to design this capsule card. And secondly, how to turn them into a slider. Let's now start with the step number one, which is to designing this capsule card. So without further ado, let's now go inside Elementor Page Builder. So to create the capsule card, first I want to take a section. To take a section, click on this plus icon and I'm taking the single column structure. Here I'm giving it a width that's 320. Now with this section, temporarily I just want to add some padding. So go under advanced tab, unbind the padding. At the top I'm adding 100 and at the bottom I'm adding 100 pixel of padding. Like I said, this is temporary. I will remove this padding later. Now let's select this column, go under its style tab because I want to make its background color to hash F7, F7, F7. It's kind of off white color. Now from here, open the border. I'm adding 180 pixel of border radius. We cannot see the border radius right now because we don't have any content inside of this column, but we can see it shortly. Also, go under its advanced tab and I'm making the padding to zero. Now within this column, let's click on this plus icon. Here I'm dragging an inner section widget. And first of all, I'm deleting one of these inner columns from here. So now this inner section has only one column. Here I'm making this inner section's height to minimum height and I'm setting its 260 pixel. Then go under style tab because I want to add a background image. So from here background type, let's select an image. I'm selecting this one, click on insert media. And here let's set its position to sender sender, repeat to no repeat and size. I'm making it cover. All right, let's now scroll down from here, open the border. So, you know, we want to make it look like a capsule. That's why I'm unlinking the border radius only at the top and right. I want to apply the exact border radius that we have applied on the column. So that's 180 pixel at the top and 180 pixel at the right. It's already taking shape. Now let's open the shape divider, go to its bottom. And here I'm selecting the type to book the last one, this one. And here I'm making its color to that of white color. That's hash F7, F7, F7. All right. Now underneath this inner section, I want to add some content. So go to the Rubik's Cube icon. First here I'm dragging a heading widget under the inner section here. And the text I wanted to say Indonesia. Let's make the alignment to centered. Now go under the style tab. From here, I just want to do one single thing. That's from typography. I want to set its style to normal. And there is a reason for that. Just stick with me. You can understand that later. All right. Now go under advanced tab. I just want to add some margin top. So unlink it at the top. I'm adding 20 pixel of margin. Now underneath this heading, I'm here adding some text. So I'm dragging text editor widget here. Let's now make its alignment to centered. And similar like the heading widget, I also want to make its typography. I mean the style to normal. And we can make its size to 15 pixel. And then if you want, you can add some spacing. So I'm going under advanced tab from here, unlink the margin. Only at the bottom, I'm adding negative 20 pixel. And let's unlink the padding. On the left and right, I'm adding 20 pixel of padding. Now underneath this paragraph, I want to add a button widget. So click on the Rubik's Cube icon. From here, I'm dragging the button widget here. Let's make the alignment to centered. Go under the style tab. Similar like this heading and paragraph, I'm selecting the typography here. And let's set the style to normal. Then from here, I'm making its color to black color. And here, border radius, I'm adding 20 pixel. 
Now go under advanced tab, only at the bottom I want to add some margin. So unlink the margin. At the bottom I'm adding 40 pixel. So we have made the capsule layout. Now we can move to the next part that's turning this capsule card to a carousel or slider. So now the main thing I want to remove the temporary padding from the main section. So let's select this section. From under its advanced tab, I'm removing this 100 pixel padding. Also, let's remove it from here. And as we have removed the padding from top, you see now it's difficult to grab the main section and the inner section because they have placed now at the same place. So, you know, we can take the help of the navigator. Just right click here and open the navigator. And now just make sure you have selected this main section, not this inner section. Okay, so I'm selecting the main section, this one, right click here and then click on save as template. I want to name it country card, then 001, click on save. So it's now saved under my templates. Now close it. Here I want to create our second card. So this time instead of Indonesia, I'm writing here Africa. And I want to also change this image and you know, this is the background image of the inner section. So from here, let's select the inner section. I'm changing the background image with another image. I'm selecting this one, click on insert media. And again, make sure you have selected the main section from the navigator. Now right click here, click on save as template. And this template, I'm saving it as country card 002. Again, save it close the pop-up then I'm preparing the content for the third card instead of Africa I want to, to write here Thailand now select the inner section change this background image I'm selecting this one select it again make sure you have selected the main section from the navigator right click here and click on save as template I'm naming it country card 003 let's save it then close it let's create our fourth card here instead of Thailand I wanted to say Brazil select the inner section because I want to change its background image as well so I'm selecting this image and insert it again make sure you have selected the main section right click here click on save as template and I'm naming it country card 004 now click on save all right let's now close it also, I'm closing the navigator. Now, if you wonder where these templates are saved, you can just go back to your WordPress dashboard. So from here, I'm clicking on this hamburger icon. Here you see exit to dashboard. I'm opening the dashboard from a new tab. So from your WordPress dashboard on the left, you see here templates under the Elementor. From there, click on saved templates. Here you see all the templates that we have saved, they're sitting here inside. The country card 001, 002, 003, 004, all these are here. All right, now go back to Elementor page builder. And this time we no longer need this capsule card here. So let's delete it. Also delete the main section. So basically we are starting from scratch as we have saved all the templates on our Elementor saved templates. All right. So to take a new section, let's click on this plus icon. I'm taking the single column structure. This time make its height to minimum height and I'm setting it 100 VH. Then go under the style tab because I want to use a gradient color. So from here, I'm selecting the gradient. The first gradient color, I'm selecting hash 734FF2. And let's keep this reddish second color. Then go to the Rubik's Cube icon and here I'm searching for testimonial carousel. So here testimonial carousel, this one. Now just drag this testimonial carousel widget inside of this column here. By the way, this widget is only available on Elementor Pro. I will put my Elementor Pro affiliate link in the description. If you purchase Elementor Pro through my affiliate link, you don't have to pay any extra, but I will get a little credit for that. That will help me to continue this YouTube channel and make more interesting tutorials like this. All right, so here with this testimonial carousel widget, the first settings I wanna do here, it says slides per view. I'm making it to three. And by default, there are three slides or three items. So let's open the item one. 
from here i want to delete this image first click on this delete icon also i'm removing this name and title from here so let's remove it also remove the title and here instead of this content first let's remove this text content i want to use the short code of that capsule card so just go back to your wordpress dashboard from under your saved templates for the first one i'm using the country card 001 here on the right side this is its short code just copy this short code from here go inside elementor and paste the short code inside of this content field so far we cannot see anything inside of this carousel you see here we can see only this plain text short code but notice for now let's just minimize this item one and i want to delete this item two and three so click on this x also click on this x and here open the item one here we have inserted the short code within the content we have deleted the image we have removed the name and title from here so now we can just copy this item one i'm copying it one two three actually i have copied it four times so the first one has the content it's basically the short code for country card 001 now let's minimize the item one open the item two here instead of this one let's remove it go inside saved templates copy the short code for country card 002 this one copy it go inside elementor paste the short code here similar like this open the item 3 remove the short code from here go to save templates i'm copying the short code for country card 003 go inside elementor and paste it let's do the same with the fourth one so remove it go to saved templates here i'm copying the country card 004 short code from here go inside elementor and paste the short code inside the content field all right now we have inserted four slides or four items here but in the similar way you can add as many as slides or as many as items you want and you may notice we cannot see any card here within the elementor page builder actually within the elementor page builder we cannot see the cards to see it we need to preview it from the real browser so for now let's click on this green update button to save our work and to preview the real web page click on this eyeball icon here we go we can see all the capsule cards here we can swipe them like this we can use the arrows from right also from the left and here these bottom dots are also working perfectly but i think there are some settings that's coming from the default carousel settings so to remove them just go inside elementor page builder from the testimonial carousel widget go under style tab here let's keep everything same just under the slides i'm making the padding to zero and let's open the content here i'm making the gap to zero and if you want to adjust these arrows i mean the right and left arrow also if you want to control this dots navigation then go under content tab from here scroll down open the additional options like here you can enable or disable the arrows from here as i have disabled it we cannot see the left and right arrows but i want them back so i'm turning on the arrows similarly you can turn on the pagination from here or if you want you can turn off it but i want to keep the dots and to style it go under style tab scroll down open the navigation let's say if you want to increase the size of the left and right arrow you can increase the size from here so instead of 20 i'm making it 30 then if you want you can change the color of the arrows like here i'm making its color to white similarly if you want you can change the size of these dots from here like this i'm keeping it eight and also if you want you can change the color from here but i like the way it is then click on this update button to save your work and here we can see our beautiful carousel with all the swipe option the arrows and the navigation dots and now let's see if you want to change any image or any title from inside this carousel then you cannot do that from inside this slider you need to go back to your saved templates for example if you want to change something inside of this country card 003 just click here on edit with elementor i'm opening it from a new tab so here we can only see the template here let's say here instead of thailand 
I wanted to say Italy. Also, I want to change this image. So click here. Or, you know, we can always navigate through the navigator from here. So make sure you have selected the inner section from under its style tab. Let's change this image. I'm changing it with this one. Click on insert media. Now click on this green update button. If we now go to the live preview page and let's refresh the page. Now here instead of Thailand, we can see the Italy. Cool. And one last thing, of course, we should check how it's looking on the tablet and mobile device. To check its responsiveness, if we now go inside Elementor Page Builder, as you see, we cannot see anything from inside Elementor Page Builder. So actually, we cannot check its responsiveness from inside Elementor Page Builder. But if we go to the front end of the page, I mean the final preview page, we can check its responsiveness by shrinking our browser. So right now, this is the desktop view. If we now minimize or shrink our browser at this state, this is basically the tablet view. But on the tablet view, I don't want only one card. Here on the tablet device, I want to display two cards. And on the mobile device, yep, on the mobile device, one card is okay. So to make that change, let's go to the normal width of the browser and go back to Elementor Page Builder. Make sure you have selected that testimonial carousel, go under its content tab. And here, if we have a look, slides per view, we have set it to three, but it's for desktop. Now click on this icon and go to the tablet device. For the tablet device here, I'm selecting two cards. And from here, let's select the mobile icon. On the mobile, I'm selecting one. So let's click on this green update button to save this change and go to our live preview page. All right, if we now start shrinking our browser to the tablet width, here you see we can see two cards here. And if we shrink it more to the mobile width, you see we can see only one card. And everything is working perfectly. The arrows, the navigation dots, everything is working perfectly. All right. I hope you have learned something new today. If you like it, please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also, press on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever I will upload a new video on this YouTube channel. And if you want me to help you on your WordPress project or Elementor project, then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com. I will try my best to help you. Once again, thank you so much for watching this whole tutorial. I will see you in the next video. For now. Bye-bye.